Okay, so the way we had our data set up in the last video, that's pretty much how your data would be set up if you were gonna go run your regression using some regression software. That's how it would look. And then you could submit that to the algorithm and it would give you your model output and you would be all done. But we're gonna sort of build it from scratch using Excel. So I'm gonna copy these data and I made a new blank sheet here. And uh, I'm gonna go to cell B7 and I'm gonna right click and go to paste special and paste just the values. And then I'm going to copy all of these variable names, just the independent variables, and I'm going to go to cell B2 and paste them again. So we have from cell B2 across the row all the way through column uh, T. Now in column U, we're going to label that the intercept in U, cell U2. And then you'll see this. You'll see often that, uh, well, every single time you do a regression, let's say you literally did one by hand, kind of like we're doing, you would need this for the computation to work out. If you are doing this using statistics software, it'll sort of fill that in for you automatically. So that would be a constant. And um, so we want to actually you know, I made a mistake. I'm gonna put this row here of independent variable labels. I'm going to put it over here on the top row. And I'm gonna fill in all of these with ones. And right now these ones are just sort of like stand-ins. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Right now, all those ones are just sort of stand-ins. We are going to have a solving algorithm tinker with the, these values to help us predict whether or not our customers are pregnant. So um, we're gonna label this row model coefficients. And I don't know if I spelled that right. Coefficients, big word. All right, so we need, we need to have a prediction column. So predict whether or not uh, these people are pregnant. We'll call it linear combination. Because a linear combination, remember we've been using this sum product formula when we were optimizing an advertising budget. Um, a sum product is a linear combination. So we're gonna take a sum product of this person's particular row of data, right? So we've got a male here in this first row, row eight. And we're gonna multiply his scores on um, all of those things by these model coefficients, which we just have ones for right now. They're just a stand in. Click enter. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is include. Oh, so actually what I did was included the dependent variable in the model when I didn't want to do that. So we, this column here, column V, whether or not somebody's pregnant is our outcome variable. We're not going to use it to train the model. So click enter and send that down the rows. And as you can see, this is kind of janky because we want to say that uh, one or zero, you know, we're trying to predict whether or not a person got pregnant and we're getting scores like five, three, two, zero. So what does that mean? Well, that's because we haven't used an algorithm to actually uh, tinker with these numbers here, these model coefficients to give us a value that we can uh, better use. Uh, so we'll do that next.